Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. This video has been a long time coming, it's been a work in progress for sure, but today I'm finally going to be showing you my favorite reef tank that I've ever owned. Maybe that's a stretch, but this is a reef tank that has been with me for probably five years now. It's been set up, taken down, and now set back up again as my five gallon reef tank in my college apartment. Now when space is at a premium, Aquariums can sometimes be difficult and literally get swept under the rug. I didn't even think I was going to have room for a tank, but I was able to squeeze one in and that's the tank I'm going to be showing you today. I've already made a video years ago about why I like the Fluval Evo system so much. The 5 gallon Fluval Evo that is. I'm not a huge fan of the 13 and a half gallon which we'll get into later, but today I wanted to show you my Fluval Evo 5 gallon aquarium and give you an entire rundown on the tank how it's run, my maintenance schedule, my feeding schedule, my top off schedule, everything. So without further ado, let's dive into the tank. So as I mentioned, this is a five gallon aquarium from Fluval. It comes with a built-in filtration and I'm honestly pretty much running it stock here. In the back filtration compartment, the only thing I've really added is a fine polishing pad on top where the water pours in through the intake grates, has a little mechanical pre-filter. And then I also have a small bag of Chemi Pure Nano. It's a chemical form of filtration because the bio load in this tank is a little high, which we'll get into in a minute. That's why I wanted a little bit of extra filtration. Other than that, it's running the stock return pump, which I've had no issues with. <laughs> I mean, it is five years old. And it's also running the stock aquarium light, which is also growing my corals just fine. So I kept this tank really simple. And that's what I like about this kit is many saltwater aquarium kits simply aren't good. This kit, in my opinion, is very, very good. Pretty much running all the stock equipment, I'm able to keep a full reef. So moving into the tank itself, it is a long, skinny, rectangular tank, as I mentioned, with the filter on the columns in the back. I did go ahead and add a heater, although with this warm temperature, it really never kicks on. The tank stays right around 77 pretty much all day long without the need for a heater. In the tank itself, other than the five gallons of salt water, I have some black Hawaiian tropical sand from Carib Sea, as well as just some miscellaneous reef rock, stuff I already had at home. I brought it with me when I moved. Now, as for corals, I also brought a lot of these corals with me. We have two anemones, which I also brought from my large 120 gallon reef tank, which if you haven't saw that, that's my other saltwater tank back home. That tank is my pride and joy. 120 gallons of, once again, pure joy. I love that aquarium. But I went ahead and brought pretty much one little frag from every coral colony over there. So I have some Kenya trees, some mushrooms, some GSP, some zoas. There's a couple other random corals in there that I honestly forgot the names of, um, along with the two anemones. Now, because I do live on the beach now, I've actually done some little collecting, we'll call it. If you look around, you'll see a couple invertebrate. There's some hermit crabs and some snails. Some of these were purchased at a local fish store and some of these were taken right from the tide pools. We have a beautiful actually collecting area uh, fairly close to where I am. That's where I also found a little bit of macro algae. So I went ahead and got two types of macro algae and they've just been in this tank for probably around four weeks now, just about a month, I think. And under the stock light and the amount of nutrients in the tank, they're doing good. There's this green macroalgae and then what I believe is dragon's breath macroalgae, but I'm not sure if that's correct. And then the snails are just your basic saltwater snails. There was thousands of them. If you guys wanna see a video of me going out to collect some snails and hermit crabs and macroalgae, I actually have to do that soon for a new tank. We're gonna talk about that later. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for inverts in here other than a cleaner shrimp. This cleaner shrimp did not come from my other aquarium. I got it at a Petco here. It was on a super good sale. I think I ended up paying like $12 for that cleaner shrimp, which is very cheap. So there's a cleaner shrimp in there. And then obviously the fish, these are my two clownfish, a black oscillaris clownfish and a standard oscillaris clownfish. Now these are my clownfish from home. I took them from my 120 gallon tank and I brought them here and they've been with me here ever since day one when I first moved in. They've been doing great. They eat amazing. They've had no issues. They have given me some scares because at night they do sleep in the anemones and I've come home kind of late some nights and they're just like looking all dead, but they're not. They've been doing amazing so far. Uh, they do fight every once in a while. And I think that is due because this is a small -er aquarium. Five gallons is not a lot of room. And that's why we're due for an upgrade. So as much as I love this aquarium, it's an amazing starter aquarium. I honestly could not recommend this enough. As I mentioned, this was my very first saltwater aquarium. And here we are years later, it's the only saltwater aquarium I still have here with me. In fact, I'm actually debating on just keeping it set up and setting up another saltwater tank, but I wanna put the other saltwater tank here. That's a big debate. I'm setting up another tank, but that'll probably be a separate video. I don't wanna spoil it. I do live near the ocean, but I don't use ocean water in this aquarium. I use my standard salt mix from Fritz. 
I actually have been just buying gallons of distilled water from the grocery store like this. I manually top this tank off every day just because it honestly doesn't evaporate too much. It is really small. I take distilled water, top off the tank, and then every single week on Sunday on the dot, I do a one gallon water change. Super easy to mix up a gallon of water, take a gallon out, dump a gallon in. Literally the most low maintenance reef tank I think I've ever owned, which I truly think is why I enjoy it so much. That low maintenance and that simplicity of it really just makes it the perfect tank for me right now. But now that you know a little bit more about where I've been and what's going on here and where we're heading, you guys have to let me know what you wanna see next. So I have the new tank builds coming up, which I guess if you're still here, I'll let you know. It's a Fluval Flex 15 gallon aquarium. I've already made a couple modifications to it. It will not be running as stock as this Fluval Evo, but it is three times the size going from five gallons to 15 gallons should be fun. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But you guys just have to let me know, do you like this style of video? Do you wanna see me go collect some wild invertebrate? There's a ton of new fish stores around here. Would you guys like some store tours? Let me know, I'm here to make you guys happy. We're back and better than ever, fingers crossed. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good, bye.